Hi friends, welcome to Connexo Technical Insight. I'm Rahul Randeria and I would be conducting today's show. Today we would be discussing regarding the trends, the setups, the technical indicators, the candlestick patterns in Nifty, Bank Nifty as well as on the different test classes. Now first of all, let us discuss what we have mentioned in our last video. In our last video, we have mentioned that uh, the primary trend of the markets remains to be intact, that is positive. Any dips in the market should be used as a buying opportunity. And the sharps on the uh, and the charts on the daily uh, uh, daily time frame are getting sharper and sharper day by day. On the weekly time frame also the charts uh, charts are getting stronger. So definitely the primary trend is still positive, and uh, Nifty has already uh, we can see that reach all time high and it is just uh, trading uh, near those levels. So definitely we will see or we might see extension of this rally in the coming weeks. So definitely at these uh, levels. The trend still remains intact. Now let us go to the Nifty daily charts and we'll uh, try to figure out uh, what could be the trend for the next week and what are the important supports and resistance level. Now this is uh, the Nifty daily charts. It has been uh, moving in a upward rising channel, which we have been discussing since uh, June, July month. It has already maintained this particular pattern. Uh, uh, on Friday, we have seen that uh, some sort of sell off was there, but during the fact and you can see this shadow, some sort of buying was also seen. So this is clearly indicating that uh, at the lower levels, there has been a strong support, strong buying has also emerged. So uh, maybe in a couple of days, we might see a Nifty again, uh, scaling uh, back to the higher levels from these levels. So uh, the primary trend still remains intact, that is positive. And now let us discuss what are the important supports and resistance level in the Nifty for the next week. The important support in the Nifty for the next week is placed around 18,365 is the first support. Then second support in the Nifty is placed around 18,246. And third support in the Nifty is placed around 18,133. Whereas on the upside, uh, the first resistance is around 18,665. Above that, second resistance is around 18,768, uh, sorry, uh, 18,786, and uh, third resistance is around 18,888. These are the important supports and resistance level in the Nifty. Uh, primary trend remains to be positive. Any dips should be used as a buying opportunity. Now let us come to the Bank Nifty daily charts, and we'll try to uh, figure out what could be the trend for the next week. Now, this is the Bank Nifty daily chart. Uh, you have you might have seen on Thursday and Friday, but here uh, in Bank Nifty, it is totally opposite. You can see so Bank Nifty has consolidated and throughout the week it has ended or it has traded on a positive note. And on Friday, we have seen there was yes uh, at the higher levels but again that selling was absorbed and again uh, bank nifty ended on an almost flat note with a positive uh, indication now you can see this particular pattern and this is on the daily charts now let us see on the weekly charts you can clearly see five two three four and five for five consecutive weeks bank nifty has traded on a positive note and it has closed on a positive note. So the trend still remains positive. Any dips in the bank nifty also should be used as a buying opportunity. So now let us discuss uh, what are the important supports and resistance level in bank nifty. The first support in the bank nifty is placed around 43,361. Second support in the nifty is placed around 43,095. And third support in the bank nifty is placed around 42,000. Uh, 555. On the upside, uh, the first resistance in the bank nifty is around 43,853 is the first resistance. Second resistance in the bank nifty is around 44,291 and the third resistance for the week is around 44,733. These are the important and crucial supports and resistance level in bank nifty. Traders should watch out uh, for these levels and try to uh, trade in the direction of the primary trend that stays positive 
and one should have a view of buy on dips from the current levels now friends let us come to the uh, uh, third segment or uh, sorry segment second segment of a uh, uh, show which is index option analysis here we will try to study the option data or derivatives data of nifty and bank nifty and we could we will try to figure out what could be the important supports on the downside and what could be the important resistance or the target uh, in the nifty and bank nifty by observing those particular data now let us see what we have observed in nifty calls you will see on the screen in nifty calls the action was seen in uh, 18600 calls then 18700 calls 18800 and 18900 calls here also you can see volumes are rising open interest is rising implied volatility is way into control zone or comfortable zone it is between 19.30 and 10.63 uh, 68 there has been some drop in option uh, premium that was because of the sell off which we have seen on friday from the highs but again as i uh, as we have seen on the daily charts that some sort of buying was also seen at the lower levels because we have seen some sort of shadow formation on nifty uh, friday's daily candle so most probably uh, looking at this particular volume concentration we feel that 18600 would be the immediate <coughs> resistance and once it crosses those resistance area then nifty has potential to test its lifetime high which is 18888 now let us discuss what we have observed in nifty puts now on the screen you will see that in nifty puts the action was seen in 18400 puts then 18300 puts then 18200 puts and 18100 puts now here you can see there has been the rise in the volumes there has been the rise in the open interest implied volatility is in comfort zone it is between 10 uh, 10.19 to uh, 12.05 option premium is also neutral so in puts also we have seen that uh, on the downside the volume concentration is mostly seen around 18400 puts now if it breaks those particular level i mean to say 18400 then next strong support is around 18300 and i feel that looking at this data 18000 would be the area where one should go long if there is a fall on selling from this level and nifty test the level of 18300 or one can those who are positional traders can start buying between 18300 to 18400 uh, when nifty drifts down to those levels so overall buy and dips should be the strategy in nifty also now let us try to figure out or let us try to study the bank nifty option data uh you will see on the screen the bank nifty call open interest data here you can see the action was seen in 43800 calls 44000 calls and 44500 calls here you can see there has been a rise in the open interest there has been a rise in the volumes uh implied volatility is also into a comfort zone it is between 8.94 to 10.22 the option premium has also corrected uh, so that was because you know some sort of selling was seen in uh, bank nifty at the higher levels but again at the lower levels there was also support seen and bank nifty has ended on a positive positive note uh, on the friday so looking at this particular volume we feel that on immediate basis 43800 could act as a immediate resistance then if it breaks then next target would be or next resistance area would be 44 and about that the major resistance would be around 44500 so again looking at this particular data we we don't think there is much uh, of downside seen in bank nifty from this particular level now let us see what we have observed in bank nifty puts we'll try to study those data and we'll try to figure out what could be the support in the bank nifty uh, the action was seen in 43500 puts 43000 puts 42500 puts now here you can see rise in the volumes open interest is also rising impact volatility is between 12.12 to 14.75 there has been a slightly a drop in uh, uh bank nifty option premium now this slightly drop might be indicating that uh, smart money might have started writing nifty out of the money puts which will propel Nif bank nifty uh on the upside so looking at this particular data we feel that 
on the downside immediate support is around 42500 if it breaks then only we might see bank nifty drifting towards a level of 43000 so most probably looking at to this particular volume data we feel that uh, 42800 to 42900 could act as a very strong support area and from those levels if we see any kind of cool off those levels should be used to go long at the lower levels uh, so friends uh, uh, these are the observation what we have seen in uh, bank nifty puts looking at or studying you know the charts and studying the option data the strategy remains to be buy on dips from these particular levels so friends uh, now let us come to the final segment of our show which is positional call uh, I have identified one stock. The name of the stock is Gujarat Gas. Now you can see the stock has been consolidating, moving in positive trajectory, making higher tops, higher bottom. But here you can see on the daily chart, it has formed a classical symmetrical triangle. Uh, it has uh, on Friday it has given or managed to given a uh, give a breakout, and again uh, it has just entered in that particular lower. Now everybody knows or we have been uh, reading the reports regarding uh, to the Kirit Patel's uh, report of uh, putting a cap on the gas pricing. So this could be you know the major trigger for the stock to start trending higher from these level. Now if that happens and looking at this particular pattern volume price action indication the, we feel that the stock is poised for an upward rally towards the level of uh, maybe five, uh, 585 to 590. Currently, the stock is quoting around 521. So for long-term investors, positional investors, swing traders, uh, one should uh, buy this stock on dips to 510 for an upside target of 585 to 590 for long-term. For swing traders, the short-term target may be around uh, 540 to 545. So looking at this particular price volume action, price pattern is triangular formation. It has given a breakout. Volumes are rising here last in last one uh, 15 to 20 days, which is clearly indicating there has been accum accumulation in this stock and stock might give a sharp rally from these levels. But definitely uh, one should buy on dips to 510 for an upside target of 585. So friends, thank you for watching the show. Let us conclude the show. Any suggestion you can give in the comment box and have a nice trading week.